The meniscus is a cushion that distributes the load and reduces the stress on the knee joint. They protect the hyaline cartilage and prevent arthritis. There are two meniscus, one lateral and one medial. And we're going to be talking about the lateral meniscus because the lateral meniscus have very special features that make it appealing for exam questions. The lateral meniscus is circular and the anterior and posterior horns are closer together. The lateral meniscus covers about 70% of the lateral tibial plateau. The medial meniscus is C-shaped and covers 50% of the medial tibial plateau. The lateral meniscus has less peripheral soft tissue attachment. Therefore, it has twice the excursion of the medial meniscus, means it is more mobile. The medial meniscus is less mobile and has three times the incidence of injury. So the lateral meniscus is not injured as much as the medial meniscus. The lateral meniscus is the one that's involved with an acute ACL tear. The tear is usually peripheral and can be missed on the MRI. In tibial plateau fractures, the lateral meniscal tear is more common than the median meniscal tear. The lateral meniscal tear is usually associated with Shasker type 2 fracture, which is a split depression. If you see a depression or widening greater than 5 mm in the tibial plateau, it's probably associated with a lateral meniscal tear. The lateral meniscus has the hiatus for the popliteus tendon. The fibula identifies the lateral meniscus on the MRI. The fibula is lateral and posterior. The lateral meniscus can be involved with multiple tear types. And we're going to give some examples and show some MRIs. However, there are some special ones that we should be aware of. Either the tear type or the pathological condition of the meniscus itself. So let's start with the bucket handle tear of the lateral meniscus, which will give you a double anterior horn sign of the lateral meniscus on sagittal MRI. And these are examples of involvement of the anterior horn of the lateral meniscus. The meniscal cyst usually occur from a horizontal tear of the lateral meniscus, and this is an example of a meniscal cyst. The discoid meniscus occurs more on the lateral meniscus. McMurray test is a classic test that help in the diagnosis of meniscal tear. And with a lateral meniscus, you will get positive McMurray test in internal rotation. Another point, the risk of meniscal repair on the lateral side can injure the perineal nerve and popliteal vessels. The popliteal artery is located behind the posterior horn of the lateral meniscus. Keep the dissection anterior to the biceps. Tears of the peripheral 25% of the lateral meniscus are in the red zone. It means that this area is vascular and it heals if we suture the meniscus, if we repair the meniscus. But there is a risk of suturing it. The success rate associated with lateral meniscus repair increases with simultaneous ACL reconstruction. There might be a few structures that mimic a tear of the lateral meniscus, so it gives you false positive MRI pictures. 
the meniscus femoral ligament connect the meniscus into the PCL. It arises from the posterior horn of the lateral meniscus and it has two parts. The humphrey is anterior and the respect is posterior to the PCL. The transverse intermeniscal ligament is connected to the lateral meniscus anteriorly. The fluid in the popliteus tendon may mimic a tear. Thank you for listening. I hope this lecture was helpful to you.